Hi friends, today's reflection is for Tuesday of the fourth week of Lent. Today's Gospel reading is from the Gospel of John. John's Gospel contains a series of signs which are meant to teach us something about the nature of Jesus, who, who teaches who God is. And the sign in today's reading is about healing. It says that there was a festival and Jesus went up to Jerusalem but it doesn't describe the festival where there might have been food and fun. Instead, it says that Jesus went to a pool called Bethesda, where there are many suffering people, blind and lame and crippled, and they're hoping to be cured in the pool. While he's at the pool, he approaches a man who's been ill for 38 years. It's an awfully long time to be ill. And he asks the man if he wants to be well. So we're used to healing stories in the Bible where people reach Jesus out and beg, beg him to heal them. They approach him to touch his clothing or, or they wait for him by the side of the road. But this person wasn't searching for Jesus. And in fact, the story doesn't say anything about the man's faith. Jesus is the one who initiates this encounter. To me, it reminds us that, that Jesus comes for all of us especially those most in need, those most suffering, whether a person of faith or not, whether a person is searching for God or not, whether we recognize Jesus with us even. God comes for everyone. When he's asked the question, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be well? The man doesn't, doesn't respond and say, yes, Jesus, I want to be healed. Instead, he says that he has no one to help him into the pool. He has nothing. He has lost hope completely. Jesus enters where there's no hope. That's where Jesus comes in. But he doesn't help the, the man into the pool. He merely speaks to him. He says, stand up, take your mat, and walk. Sometimes uh, Jesus uh, responds to us in ways that we're not expecting, in, in something other than we thought. It's Jesus' ways, not our ways. But his words bring healing, probably bring a whole new life for this, for this man. God's abundant grace is for all of us uh, when we most need it. In the Bible, the line at the end of this reading is, the Father is still working and I'm still working. And it's a reference to um, Jesus healing on the Sabbath, which is also part of this story. But it reminds me that God is still working among us all the time, even today, uh, especially today. I believe that God is with the migrants at the southern border right now. I believe that God is with those who are in the hospital suffering from COVID, those who are on ventilators right now. God is with them, holding on to them. I believe God is with those who are families who are waiting to hear how their loved ones are doing or those who are grieving loss. God is with those who are suffering from poverty, those who are hungry. He's with those who are in prison. He's with those who are persecuted. God's with everyone who's lost every bit of hope. The reading is definitely all about hope and it's about a God who's for all of us, but there's also challenges in today's reading. I think the challenge to me is where do we see and recognize God with us all the time, all day long? We all have some pain in our lives, some place that needs healing that only Jesus can bring. Where have we felt Jesus is healing? Where has that connected us to someone? Sometimes it's the pain and suffering that we feel that helps us to understand how others feel, that makes us more compassionate. How has that healing, our healing, helped us to reach out to others? Do we stand, take up our mat, and do we walk as people of faith and, and people of hope for somebody else? Maybe we should always remember today's psalm. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Maybe we should stand, take up our mats, and walk today. I hope your day is a really good one. hope your week's a blessed one, and I hope to see you very soon. Peace.